Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at adding spotlights to the scene. Now, I've tried this before with traditional spotlights that you would use within Blender Render. And if you had come in and, say, added a uh, traditional spot lamp like that to the scene, and it kind of looks like it might work, because if I change this to, say, green in here and went back into Blender Cycles like that, it will, and I converted it over to using nodes, and then maybe cranked up the intensity, well then the green comes to life. But in reality it turns out that it's not a spotlight at all. It's just a, it's, it looks like what it does, it just takes it as an object and creates a light from an object. And I've verified that because I have like for instance this light up here, you can see if I crank up the intensity, it, the intensity comes up the same on both objects. So it's obviously not pointing in that direction. And even if we had gone back into Blender Render and gone down to the spot and changed this to say a five degree angle for that spot like that, we would expect a more direct light focused at that location. And then if we went back into here, oh, where'd my light go? Where did my light, oh it turned the light down, so I'll turn it back up. Well, you see it doesn't, there's no focus light there. So the spotlights don't work and it, like you would might expect. So what, in order to make a spot, just in case you haven't seen the tutorials that I had done on how to create a gallery spot lamp, I, I did a couple that were kind of similar to that. What you need to do is make your own kind of spots. And here's a lamp, light, and you can see this has a yellow light in it. This is a little lamp, just a little cylindrical lamp. And notice it has some of this yellow light up here as well, but it's not nearly the same. So what this is, this is just from the ray tracer itself, it's just reflecting the light back up here because in, in case you're not an artist type, which I suspect most, most of you are, but some of you might not be, if you're not a trained artist, light you know, from the sky hits the ground, the green from the ground grass also reflects back up onto other objects. So everything kind of reflects all over each other and that is what we're seeing here in this case. But to make the spot, all I had done was I'd taken an existing cylinder and I cut out the bottom of the cylinder. Let's go into material mode just for a second. We'll go look at that up close. All right, so here's our cylinder and I knocked out the bottom of it in here. And then up inside, I have a disc that was from the base of a cone. And it was just a, and then I took the disc and I matched the size and I shoved it up inside here. And you can see I have it pointing down. You can always verify that because I'm on the local axis here. If I was on the global axis, I would think it was still pointing up. So I have that pointing down, and then I turn that into a regular emission light facing downward inside so the light can't escape from the cylinder like this. And then you can make whatever kind of spotlight you want. In fact, let's even, well, we'll go into render mode, take a look at it, and then we'll just see if we can actually make it look like a spotlight, because that's really what we want is a spotlight. Well, maybe we do or don't, but all right, so there's our light in the scene like that. So let's go grab both. Now to make this perfectly ex exact, well, let me see, that's funny that even light comes bouncing off there and back up onto the side of that. Yeah, sure, why not? I'd believe it. All right, so let's go grab both of these objects. Material mode, that one there, and I'm gonna shift and grab this one as well. Okay, I have them both. And then I'll go into rendered mode. And that, since I know I have them, I'm gonna scale it dynamically within here. All right, I'm going to scale it when well, they're rotated that way, so that'll be okay. All right, I'm going to scale it on X and Y, so only. And let's just see how much of a change it makes if I scrunch these guys down. And well, it looks like it's a more focused light, so I guess though to really see I, now we really looks like we're going to need some intensity. But of course, this is where using a parabolic type light, like those other tutorials show, makes all the difference in the world. Because if you remember from your math class with parabolas, how they, you know, or just take a look at a flashlight, the way they work, if you're not familiar, that the lamp is situated in front of the reflective lens. And it's because the, it, and that reflective lens has a parabolic shape. So when it bounces, against any point of that mirrored surface. It always sends the light straight back out, straight ahead. So it's a very powerful mathematical surface to be able to use. And this is not, this is just a flat plane, you know, going straight down. But we still ought to be able to, let's see if I can get it. 
that's the cone yeah that was the cone it was I taken it out of there so now let's see if we can just crank up the intensity of this and see how well this works as a spotlight make it up to maybe 200 it's not going to be very good but oh well it's trying you know it's trying so it's really important to take at those look at those two lessons if you hunt them down how to make a gallery spotlight you might just type that in and I show you how to make a parabolic surface and when I actually get my website up and running next year the sci-fi animator.com what I'll end up doing is for certain objects in the scene that are mathematically uh, based I'll probably just put a bunch of objects up there and make them available so you guys don't have to so you can spend your time doing art and animation and illustration which is what I'm not really that great at okay alright well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson